What's going on, fam? Peace, love, and blessings. Just coming at you with a quick video. Um, this one's gonna be short, and this one is not gonna be, you know, particularly on spiritual warfare tactics, except um, I'll say, uh, I mean, it's relevant to that. Um, it's gonna be about, you know, Keeping our, 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 our souls and our spirits, our minds trapped in a financial system, right? And um, basically keeping our minds trapped, not just in the financial system, right? Because the financial system may not be necessarily bad. Um, there's always going to be a means of trade. Keeping our minds trapped in materialism and vanity, okay? And in the pursuit of flipping dollars, it ain't nothing wrong with getting your money, but let me explain. You see, we're about to have a um, a lot of the country is about to have one crazy ass snowstorm, one crazy ass blizzard. I mean, over here in New Jersey, where I'm at, fucking uh, uh, gusts of wind will hit up to 40 miles per hour. You know, we're gonna get lots of rain. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be brutal out there today. Especially to be driving these vans that that I be driving for work, um, so but much of the country is gonna freeze and they're gonna get a couple of feet of snow and they're gonna and it's gonna get very windy in some places they're gonna get tornadoes too, right? So this this weather event is gonna challenge the power grid, right? Um, which we already have an outdated infrastructure on all levels: tunnels, bridges, roads the power grid, the sewer system, right? Outdated. Um and um and very and, and a lot of these have uh at the very most uh a uh, uh, C minus grade level. A lot of them D D and F grade levels because they're in very poor conditions. Right? So every time we have, you know, you can say it's harp, you can say it's weather modification, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to none of that, but but the point is that, that that it's here and it's happening and it's going to continue to happen. We're going to have extreme weather events that's going to threaten the power grid, right? And so my whole point with that is if the power grid goes down, then what? How many of us are prepared to handle the power grid and handle, you know, um, not having this technology? Having this, like, for example, this cell phone that I'm recording on. If I'm not able to charge this cell phone, right, I'm not able to do these videos. But then again, if there's no power grid and if there's no, if the internet is down, then ain't nothing going to get uploaded, right? So here's my point with being able to connect to the internet. My whole point is this, that the point of this video with the spiritual warfare and being trapped in materialism and vanity, right, and just the pursuit of, of, of digital dollars for the sake of more materialism and vanity, Right. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with getting your hustle on, but get your hustle on to be self-sufficient. No, people are getting their hustle on for more materialism and vanity and which further contributes to polluting the planet. The point of this video with all everything that I just said is that that cryptocurrency shit is a fucking scam. Right. And a lot of you are going to say, no, nah, you don't know. the, uh, You don't understand Web 3.0. Listen, I was one of those advocates. OK, I was one of those advocates because I understand Web 3.0. I'm a tech nerd. All right. I specialize in electronics and IT. I know all about this. And see someone. What I overlooked was there was a, a woman. I'm going to keep you anonymous. Right. Because I don't know if you want me to put your business out there, especially since you gave me this information on the low. She put me up on some information on how this crypto shit and this Bitcoin stuff is evil. And there's an evil plan behind it to trap souls, right? And that's my whole point with the spiritual warfare, um, because they've been getting us, they've been getting us used to digital currency through the credit cards, right? Taking out loans. You go to the bank and you take out a loan. You sign on a piece of paper, and all they did was move, crunch some numbers on the computer. They ain't move around dollars. They ain't move around gold. New dollars weren't printed. Right. Um, and then now you have this digital currency 
Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. You got all this crap, which is all not practical. None of that shit is practical. All of that, all of that is one big Ponzi scheme. Do you know what a Ponzi scheme is? For those of you that don't know what a Ponzi scheme, look it up. But in a nutshell, is basically creating an artificial market, right? An artificial market. Typically, when it comes, th- this stuff, this stuff, uh, uh, is typically involves stocks, right? What up, bro? You create you create an artificial market, right? And then you artificially inflate it by having people put invest their money into it, right? But then the scammers, they pull all their money out. Once they pull their money out, that market crashes. And then everybody that invested loses their money. And that's what cryptocurrency is. And a lot of people are over here thinking that they're on the come up. And they probably did come up on the come up, Right? But they created dollars out of nowhere, right? Created basically look at look at the scam, right? And this is why this is why the government was so uh 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 assuming that they didn't create it because I think it's a psyop to be honest. But this is why like certain banks and institutions were like concerned about it because money you have a digital value in money being created out of nowhere. It's basically like a digital way of printing money, right? Anybody that's printing their own money, that's counterfeit. So it's like a digital way of printing money out of nowhere. So you invest a couple hundred, couple thousand dollars into it. You multiply and flip it. And then you go to the exchange and then you get those thousands of dollars back out. When you never put that money in, that money was created out of thin air. Basically, you're stealing from the treasury in essence. I mean, you know, they can't get mad because this same damn IRS and Treasury, they're stealing from us. You know, they're not even federal. They're not even I'm not even going to get into that. But you can look into that, how unconstitutional all that IRS shit is and how they've been robbing us, raping us. Right. They've been they've been. They've been they've been having us by the balls all these years, you know, but that's a whole nother situation. But my point is, is that. All of that is a Ponzi scheme. And so I have people, you know, be condescending towards me. They think they're on the come up because they made a couple thousand dollars and they have thousands of dollars coming in with that Bitcoin shit. Right. But um, a lot of these people now, they they're nervous wrecks because that market has been crashing and they've been losing their money. Now, I know that some of you uh, uh, may say, oh, yeah, but everything is going to change. You know, an XRP going to go through the roof. And, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the government is going to change towards the digital and, you know, everybody that doesn't invest now, they're going to miss out. Let me tell you something about that. All of that is a, a predictive program and, and, uh, is a, a, again, is a psychological operation. This system that we have here now, this capitalist system that we have of printing dollars, Right. And this this debt based society, this capitalist system that is driven by debt, this itself is a Ponzi scheme. Oh yeah, right. This right here, this right here, this is no better, right? This is no better than that Bitcoin shit, and that Bitcoin cryptocurrency shit is no better than this. This right here is a Ponzi scheme itself, and the reason why. Right. The governments. Right. Not just the government, but the governments are pushing for this digital currency stuff. And then they introduced it with the crypto and the Bitcoin to hype it up. Right. To create novelty. Right. Um, Is because they need another system to replace this system. Right. This system that used to be backed by gold. Now is just backed by debt. Right. So they need a new system when this collapses, because this is going to collapse. This is going to collapse in our lifetime. It's not going to go on forever. Soon, this is just going to be used for toilet paper. Or, you know, for whatever, you know, for fuel for the fire. Keep the fire burning. (laughs) You know, that's just what it's going to be worth. But notice that all these people, the regular person that invests in crypto, Right. Even the people that are making money out of it and then just the common person that is not really making money out of it, but is involved in the hype. 
they don't they don't give notice that most of these people don't even talk to you about the te- blockchain technology. They don't care about the potentials of blockchain technology, right? They don't understand Web 3.0 and they don't care to understand. They don't understand that right now is not very practical. You can't even really it's not even practical to use it to use these cryptocurrencies as currency, right? Let alone Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? Because of these high ass transfer fee- fees and all kinds of inconveniences and then having your funds in exchanges. Oh, you can have your funds in cold wallets. Listen, those cold wallets can be hacked. But how can it be hacked? Yeah, because you connect it to your computer, right? And if your computer is vulnerable, if your network is vulnerable, the average person, listen, man, let them cold storage wallets go mainstream and you're going to see people left and right getting their crypto robbed. Because the average person has no idea how to protect their home network. They don't know jack shit. Some of these people don't even use antiviruses. They don't know nothing about that. Right? So my point is, is that switching to this digital will make it easier, even easier for people to get robbed. Right? Or maybe not easier because people are getting robbed now. People's bank accounts are getting robbed now. So maybe not easier, but it'll make it easier for the government to control, to want to control our asses. Now you may say, oh, um, here's, here's the icing on the cake. You may say no, but the way that blockchain works, because see some people understand this, the way that blockchain works, you can't really hack it. Um, you can't really hack it. Uh, uh, you know, and it's anonymous and you know, it's safe. Yeah. But hackers are stealing millions in crypto to this day. And they've been stealing millions of crypto because of these compromised computers that I told you in these networks, right? Big companies are constantly getting hacked. T-Mobile and Bank of America are notorious for constantly getting hacked. And so you mean to tell me that these billion dollar conglomerates, right, that they don't, they, they, they're constantly getting hacked, that they're not investing in heavy security, digital security, and you're going to trust these people, right? These, you're going to trust these exchanges that are not even running on Web 3.0. They're running on Web 2.0, right? And then on top of that, on top of that, right, it, you can you can hack. Listen, you can hack these digital storage, these cold storage wallets. Just be, just be, it's not unhackable just because it has super encryption. You just need the right amount of computer power or you need a quantum computer. Oh, yeah. Look up quantum computers that are hundreds, probably even thousands of times more powerful than a regular computer. Right now with the quantum computers in whose hands or in whose hands are those computers? in? I know IBM has one or several. Right. You ain't going to be able to go to Micro Center or or Best Buy and, and buy a quantum computer. The quantum computer game is monopolized in the hands of few. And particularly big time corporations and the government, particularly the CIA and the military. So everybody switches to this crypto shit, right? And then you're going to be in the hands of the puppet master even more. Basically, what I'm saying is that this crypto shit is just going to put us further into slavery and in a, 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 a a digital slavery that will be controlled by these quantum computers if they so will and if they so choose to right um and um and and this is tied to uh the uploading your consciousness to virtual realities right because that would be selling your that would be the ultimate selling your soul you uploading your consciousness into these brain computer chips and into these these uh neural networks right into this quantum computer that would be the ultimate selling of your soul and um the ability to upload your mind to these virtual realities and this cryptocurrency they go hand in hand and they've been getting you used to this which is why meta used to be known as facebook they created the metaverse and get you used to this you know what i'm saying they're getting your feet wet, getting you accustomed to this, right? And getting the children accustomed to it so that when the technology fully comes out, the children are already on board because the children 
they're brainwashed to follow the trends. This cryptocurrency shit is a scam and a lot of you are going to get offended because a lot of you invested into it. But I told you, what is the definition of being born? What is the what is the meaning of being born into sin, right? That we are born into a false reality construct. Into We are born into fakeness. Sin could also be S-Y-N, as in sin, synthetic. Or S-I-M, simulation, right? What is the salvation? The salvation is embracing the truth, knowing the truth that shall set you free. This cryptocurrency shit is based on lies. It's based on digital shit. And if, and if the power grid were to be wiped out, and, and you and we can't use no computers and every computer were to go offline, right? All of that shit would be down the toilet. It's not is it's different than silver and gold and actual resources. But anyways, just food for thought, peace and love.